Uh, I, uh, I, I spent a lot of time in Scotland. Scotland is, is a beautiful place. It's really cool. Uh, really hard accent to understand. I don't know, if, has anybody ever been to uh, Scotland? No. no. Yeah. Hard accent, do you have a hard time understanding the accent? No. Sometimes? No, because you're perfect and you know everything. Perfect. <laughs> she wants me. <laughs> I hope it's perfect. Uh -huh. You owe me. <laughs> but uh, I, I found myself when I was in Scotland, though. Uh, you ever been in a situation where you have to ask somebody to repeat themselves more than twice? That just gets really awkward, right? Because then they have to start, then they just start yelling at you, and it just so instead of asking them to repeat themselves a second time, you just, you know, don't take this personally, guys, but you're gonna have to ask you to fucking leave, all right? <laughs> you fucking know what you did. <laughs> Two men leaving together, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> One of them's got a tank top. <laughs> Hi there. Who the fuck is Randy with? <laughs> if they leave during my show, it means they're gone. So anyway, this happened. So I was in Scotland, and uh, and uh, you know, uh, I was in a cab, and the guy had to, add, you know, he was saying something to me. I didn't understand what he was saying, so so I'd ask him to repeat himself, and it got really awkward. You know, I'd be like, "Hey, you see a little bit of you know, took a bit like here. We should not be like not from here. You see a little bit of Paul, eh?" Good. Sorry, can, can you repeat that? I didn't quite catch that. I said, "I see the little bit of see the little bit later." He told me, "Not from here. You see the little bit of Paul, eh?" Sorry, I didn't quite catch you. Can you repeat that one more time? He's like, for the last time, I see the pussy of the people here. I'm not seeing what's from here, are you, Paul? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I hope I didn't agree to something that got me in trouble. You know, like, hey, you're not from here, are you? Do you want to come in the front seat and sit on my lap? I think I have an erection, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I, I agreed. <laughs> And I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a man of my word. Because I'm gay, because Nick Roy told me I was. Can't let that fucking asshole down. Oh my god. This is how I performed in Scotland, actually. And uh, the funny thing about performing in Scotland, it's a very alcoholic country. You know, after you do a show, you know, you, you find yourself here in the washroom, you're taking a piss, and somebody will stand beside you who saw you perform, and he starts giving you comedy advice. And he's all drunk and hammered, and you don't understand his accent, and you just gotta go along with it. You know, he'd be like, hey, 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 he, hey, you, hey, Paul, hey, ye. I'd be like, well, what's that? Hey, I saw your show. I got a joke for you. <laughs> he'd be like, oh, yeah, what's that? Hey, two men walk into a bar. One man says, I'll get the Guinness. The other man says, oh, she believes all the walking ladies. <laughs> Hey, 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 ye! You should write that one down. <laughs> what am I gonna write down? Two men walk into a bar, one man gets a Guinness, the other man ramble, 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 incoherent fetal alcohol syndrome, ramble, period. Fantastic, thank you. Thank you for that joke and thanks for pissing on my shoe, doodle, hey, fucking doodle. <laughs> so I, uh, I've been doing, doing comedy quite a while and uh, I'm from Vancouver. I live, I live down town, I live in the West End and uh, and uh, the West End is funny, it's a very gay neighborhood, and so I get picked on for being one of the six heterosexual men living there. Unless Nick's staying over my pipes and blowing me. <laughs> and licking my balls. <laughs> Forgot that. It's funny, living in a, in a gay neighborhood though, it, it teaches you to, uh, to get out of fights pretty easy. Like if, if somebody's got all aggro and he's at a bar and he's trying to pick a fight with you, this happened to me a few times. Some guy would be like, you know, trying to pick a fight with me, and I hit on him, scared the shit out of him. Totally disarmed the situation. Doesn't know how to deal with it, because he's too aggro, you know? He'd be like, hey, put it, what are you fucking looking at, Paul? What are you fucking looking at? Hey, hey, what are you fucking looking at, buddy? Hey, you. He'd be like, me? Yeah, you fuck, what are you fucking looking at? And I'd be like, um, I'm looking into your eyes. They're blue like the ocean. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Chuck, I'm from Lethbridge. You got a fucking problem, pal? You wanna step outside? I'm like, um, yeah, let's go for a little walk. I think there's a park nearby, nobody can see us.
And then he snapped and he was just like, Oh, you fucking hitting on me? Because I'll fucking leave the boots and fucking kick your ass and fucking queer. And it's like, Okay, you know what, Chuck? Now you're just teasing me. I gotta fucking go. It's funny, uh, living in the West End, because I see gay guys, they hit on me, like, for two seconds, and then they realize they're not gay. They have the most amazing radar, because they'll know if they're not getting laid really quickly. It's incredible. And then just, they don't waste their time, you know? They'll just be like, hey, how you doing? What's your name? I'm like, Byron. Oh, Byron, nice to meet you. My name is Steven. Hey. <laughs> Holy fuck. That guy's got intuition. I kind of wish I was gay, because it's hard talking to girls. Talking to girls is tough. It's hard talk. It's hard complimenting women, you know? Really, you can be ordering a coffee, because girls, girls are used to getting hit on a lot, you know, especially if they're attractive. So if you compliment them, they take it the wrong way a lot. You know, if you're like, nice snake lace, and she'll be like, thanks, I got out of the dollar store for a buck, whatever. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> what the fuck? And a good friend, a friend of mine's girlfriend said something interesting. She goes, girls put up a wall when you compliment them because they're not stupid, okay? They know what men want. Men don't care about what we have up here. You just care about what we have down here. How would you like it if a girl just looked at you like a piece of meat? Yeah. And on behalf of all men, I think that'd be a awesome change in pants. <laughs> I'm sick of women judging me for, you know, how much money I make, what kind of car I drive, you know, even what my personality is like. I'd much rather she didn't listen to a word I was saying when I was blabbing her, you know? Because she was just drifting off, staring at my crotch, buying me shooters without even asking me, getting me drunk and hammered to a vulnerable state where she could throw me through a truck, take me back to her place and have sex with me and I'm half conscious. At least that way I would know what it feels like to be attractive. <laughs> oh, man. I'm uh, 31 years old, and uh, I don't like going to clubs anymore. Going to clubs sucks. Going to clubs sucks. Sorry, ladies. Going to clubs sucks, though. You know? Although, I get a kick out of going to clubs and, and some of you see drunk 19, 20 year old girls. And drunk 19, 20 year old girls are really funny because they, uh, they, they get a huge ego, you know? They just get big egos. And when they get drunk, they think they can change the world with their drunken thought pattern. You know? They'll be like, My name is Stephanie. I'm 19. It's my birthday. I'm hammered. And I want everybody to listen to what I have to say because I know everything about fucking everything on fucking K. And I can change the world. And seriously, I'm supposed to see it. Stop fucking touching me, Trevor. 